two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet. That should do it. Okay, in this video I'm going to test my homemade hammock, under quilt, and top quilt in wilderness conditions in this overnight hang. Welcome to the Econo Challenge. Now the hammock and the under quilt fit very nicely in this compression sack. Not too big, but the top quilt, oh boy, look at that puppy. Quite a bit bigger. And this is as small as I could get it in this compression sack. So it's a work in progress, but I feel a bit claustrophobic when I'm hammock camping, especially when it's hot. And I'm really hoping that this top quilt that I built will change that for me. But I wasn't willing to spend the two to three hundred dollars for a really good top quilt to try and figure that out. So I made one myself. After Christmas the orders die down and I have an opportunity around the end of January, early February to do some personal sewing. So that's when I put all this together. So needless to say I've been really eager Try all this stuff out. <laughs> okay, first thing, the hammock. A problem numero uno is the tree I have chosen is too big for my tree straps. Ah, at this rate, I might get all this set up by midnight. This might work. Now this is my under quilt. It's uh, about three quarters. It has shock cord running through each side. I've got some draft baffles sewn into each end, which I can cinch up like so. So let's see how this looks on there. That's a lot of farting around. Shug always makes it look easy and cool. Okay, I've got the draft baffles cinched up at each end. Now let's see how that uh, is gonna work together. Well, I think that's gonna work. Looks like it. So far, so good. Now, the top quilt. Let's see if I can get it out of this thing now. Alright. There it is. One top quilt. Now I have some synthetic polyester stuffing in here, which is why it's so bulky. Um, I was going on the cheap just to try out the concept. I put a heavier nylon on the bottom in case I need to stand on the ground. And got a nice, comfy fleece oh, liner in it. Hopefully, oh, it's going to keep me toasty. Okay, my understanding of all this is I should be able to get into that hammock and get into my top quilt in the hammock. Whenever I used a sleeping bag, I always had to do this jumping thing in front of the uh, hammock to get it all the way up there and then sit down in the hammock and shimmy in there. And so, let's see if I can get into it in the hammock. There are no bugs so far, but 
I'll just close up the bug screen here. For effect. Need to find the foot box somewhere down here. Missed it. Try again. There it is. But I think it's going to work. It certainly was a lot easier to get into than my uh, sleeping bag. I got the I got the underquilt around my shoulders. I think we're in business, but I won't know until tonight. Well, it's certainly warm now. Whew. See how it is tonight. This is going to be a good test tonight because the weatherman also says the temperature is going to drop to 9 above freezing, 9 degrees Celsius above freezing. So we've finally broken from this hot weather we've been having for weeks. Perfect night to see if this is going to keep me warm. Well, there it is, my bed for tonight. I'd try and shoot me getting in, but you won't be able to see it. So, I'll tell you how it went in the morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> One very misty, foggy morning. This uh, underquilt really worked well. This baby, you don't feel the cold. I was, I was really impressed. And the top quilt definitely makes it a lot easier for you to get in and out of your hammock. I had to get up once to go pee. Oh. And it was, it was so much easier to get back in here. And I was, most importantly, warm all night. I didn't feel the claustrophobic feeling that I normally feel when I'm in a hammock inside a sleeping bag. And I never felt warm even when it wasn't too cold out because I never had a really good under quilt. These work great. I think the combination of the two is definitely going to make hammock camping possible for me. And that's important because where I like to go camping, there's not a lot of flat places for me to put a tent. This is a great experiment. I am really glad I brought my hat along though. Keep my head warm. That was definitely a requirement. But I knew that. Thanks, Shug. At the uh, one end here, I have a pocket I built in, and that was great for my headlamp and my glasses. Keep them handy. I used my soft spot seat as a bit of a doormat and it helped keep leaves and crap from getting inside. That worked well. And I made sure I built in a spot to hang my solar light my solar night light and that worked great. I basically put all the features I wanted to have into this hammock combination and I'm very proud to say that they worked well. Yay that sun's out. Maybe it'll burn off some of this mist and fog. I might be able to see the other side of the lake somewhere over there. So if you're like me and you've tried hammock camping before and it just wasn't your thing, maybe you felt claustrophobic or it was uh, just too much of a hassle, get yourself a top quilt and bottom quilt combination. It changes it dramatically and might even have turned this guy into at least a part-time hammock camper. Now if you like this video, I've done some other homemade gear testing videos. 
maybe you'll find enjoyable. If you do, maybe you could just click this link up here and go check them out. I really appreciate you coming by for a visit. It's very important to me. Thank you very much for watching the Econo Challenge. I'm really happy you're here. Please leave me comments down below. Bye for now.